Alright, here we are playing Ninja Cats um, and Oscar 1258 stage and yeah I already played this stage and I actually lost the footage since I recorded without any whoops any in-game volume on so yeah I had to redo it and last time I went down here into the sewers um, so maybe we want to take this path this time then just to change it up a little bit. Um, the stage was very easy. Um, like I didn't play it too long ago, like it's just a matter of an hour or two, so I have it pretty fresh in mind, so... Hmm. Not sure how to deal with this dude here. I guess, <laughs> I guess we can just do that. Fly away to victory! But yeah, I don't want to use all my energy for it, I guess, here. Ooh, okay, that's how you do it. Ooh. Well, some nice health, and we... Whoa! We can probably... Well... We can probably jump over here, too, but first we gotta... Slowly cut his feet off. <laughs> no! Dang it, dude! <laughs> oh, now he's gone. What? How do we get through here? Are you serious? <laughs> Is there nothing else here? Was, was all of this for a potential end tank? That sucks. <laughs> well, we're back here again. Let's just head on down in the sewers then. Yeah, here we are. Now, I have a lot of stages from you, Oscar, now, so I'm just gonna play them all in the same video here. And... Yeah. Play all three stages, and we're just gonna upload it all in the same video there. And then in the future, I think, I'll only take, like, one or two stages maximum from uh, each... Well stage builder or whatever so yeah I, I don't want to build up too many stages um it gets to be a little bit yeah <laughs> it gets to be a little bit much i think and i would like to have it a bit more organized so yeah but yeah if i recall correctly we're not too far away from the ending of the stage here yeah it's probably just right up ahead here yeah, this is the final boss. Now... Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> First we're gonna reset. And... We're just gonna... Use the buster here. And there was a trick for this that I discovered that was very nice. Now try and replicate it here again. Yeah, see, if you... <laughs> if you use the sword before he's about to stun, you can get a bunch of weird hits off, like there. Even though you can't move, it's very handy in this boss right there. Like, yeah, see. <laughs> get some extra points of damage in. So yeah, um... Nothing too bad there, not too... Around four minutes, take or give. So, yeah, I'll just jump right into the next level. And yeah, I'll, I left the boot neutral there. Um, it's it's a decent stage, but like, it's yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of it is it is a stage. There wasn't anything that stood out to me, uh, about it to me. Um, like, I would like to see some gimmick items, I would like to see, but of course, it's a remake, so <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That's what it is, like... <laughs> okay, well, either one, either way, the next stage here is the Stoneman stage from the Game Boy series. I also played this one, and as you can see, I uploaded it. I think it's a pretty fun remake here, but yeah, let's cut out the loading time, and I'll see you there in a sec. Okay. Here we are, um, with the Game Boy version of Mega Man 4's Stoneman stage. 
Um, I recall this being quite easy, and yeah, here we have these falling, or the slowly falling stones in the original game. Um, here they are not falling so slowly, <laughs> here they just go right off. This, yeah, just, <laughs> you gotta use a special weapon there if you wanna take those out. I don't recall what those things are in the original game. Um, Maybe it was some like big pharaoh dog sitting there on the pedestal or something or other like that. Maybe that was Mega Man 3 though on the Game Boy, I can't really remember. <laughs> Either way. Oh yeah, here we have another one. Actually, let's... Let's do this. That's a very nice weapon for those. On my first playthrough I actually used the Hyper Bomb to just very easily dispatch of them and on my first playthrough I went down here and not up, so I guess I guess we'll go this way this time around. Guess that I get to see some something new here. Hmm. Okay, well, this was a power-up room. Very nice. So now we have an extra E-tank here. Hmm. Yeah, I I recall some of these uh, rooms, I believe, from the original game here. I feel like, yeah, like, these rooms, right? Well, okay, not yet, but um, the rooms, uh, there are a couple rooms down here. Yeah, with these guys. These were in the original Game Boy uh, stage. These rooms here, where you would drop down and you would just had to jump at once. Uh, yeah. It's basically testing your reactions there, I guess. And yeah, I remember too, like, if you go all the way down here to the left, you get a 1-up. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna go that way. Just screw it, you know. You get a big health there anyway, so yeah. And here is Stone Man, and he's weak to the Hyper Bomb, so that's what I'm gonna use. It's very nice on him since it even hurts him when he's in a pile of rubble there, but yeah, that's it. That's it for Stone Man on the Game Boy. Pretty cool level, you know. Here we had some, you know, gimmick items, and you know, yeah, it's a classic stage, you know. Well, nice to play. <laughs> that's really, really all I have to say about it. A nice breeze to just. To get through basically so yeah let's see here split mushroom let's get in there i'll cut out the weight see you in a sec okay so here we are playing split mushroom from Mega Man x4 on the playstation 1 um i played this game as a kid and i've been having some urges lately to go back and play it um yeah I've, I recall always playing this game as um, uh, Zero there, because um, as a teenager I thought, well, for one he looked cooler, <laughs> but he also dealt more damage than regular Mega Man, so even though you had to get up in melee range, I still prefer to play as Zero, um, because, yeah, I thought, you know, well, more damage equals better character, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's my... Uh, thinking process there, or that was my thinking process anyway. Whenever uh, I go back and replay that game, I'll probably do it as Mega Man though. <laughs> I want the arm cannon much more than I want the melee weapon. And yeah, I don't... Whoa, I, I don't remember too much of this stage. Um, obviously, I I've already played this, so yeah, but... Like this mini boss here, for example, I don't remember what you faced here in the original game. Although I do recall this being a very efficient weapon here against Cutman. So yeah, I'm gonna just abuse it. We can move on. He drops some health, but yeah, yeah, doesn't really matter. I won't need it. This room here, obviously, is the, you know, long staircases. I remember there were one or two segments like this in the normal stage. Hm. Whoa! Oh, 
God, I forgot about that. Yeah. I think you take force damage there. <laughs> Which obviously isn't good, but... Whatever, I don't really care too much about it. Let's just try and not die here. We might want to use the E-Tank, actually. Well, now we can just do this. Yeah, I remember dying here on my first playthrough. Um, I activated both lifts at the same time and yeah, that caused me grief. <laughs> it's much better if you just here with one of the lifts. But yeah, here's where I died, but yeah. That's all you really gotta do. And that's it. Nice and breezy. And... Yeah, let's just get everything here. And... I fought him with <laughs> the snake weapon here actually the first time around. So maybe we'll do that again. Beat him with the snake. It's definitely not the best weapon to use here, <laughs> obviously, but, you know, the snake weapon is kind of cool, so, you know, you gotta give it some love every now, now and then. Dang it. But yeah, um, whoops. Blastman isn't too hard. Now i obviously taken a, quite a few hits here that I shouldn't have taken and dang it, did I have to do that? Did I have to die? <laughs> dang it. Waste of time. I should have just brought out his weakness and killed him. Um, I don't remember. But I don't actually know if I even checked his weakness. <laughs> um, but yeah. Whatever. Let's just do this again, with more success, I guess. Blessman really isn't too bad, I just took way too many sloppy hits last time. Um, like half of the time he just flat out misses you, like that's... yeah. When he jumps over you, like you actually have to, you know, watch out for the follow-ups there. That's about, yeah, that's about it, like here, you know, just, he's gonna shoot, <laughs> shoot, he's gonna shoot one down and then he's gonna jump and shoot a, you know, a horizontal bullet, but yeah. Really the only problematic form of his is when he goes ape, ape shit, you know, and start, uh, starts throwing big bombs there, um, yeah. That's usually when I start taking tons of damage, but yeah, like. Decent stage too, like Stone Man and Mushroom Man stages definitely were the highlights here. Um, even though, like in my opinion, they weren't anything crazy either. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a remake. It is what it is. Like nothing to get too excited about. So, but yeah, um, we'll just post all of this in the same video so we can say that we have done all of Oscar stages finally. Like, yeah, I just kind of pent up a lot of your stages, but now finally. No, finally they will be completed here, so yeah. Anyways, I will just <laughs> leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.